Good morning, friends. Welcome to our greenhouse. We've got to have another serious talk this morning, and this one is about your family and your children. And this is most specifically about your children, no matter how old they are. Friends, I'm just going to get right into it because this topic is so important and near and dear to my heart. I'm not going to beat around the bush today with anything, any information about gardening or anything like that. So what's so important right now, especially with your children, number one is that you guide them and guide them in a specific way and teach them in a specific way. Now, I'm not saying, hey, you got to do it like I'm doing, but with all of the issues going on right now in our country and in the world, it's so important to teach them and guide them on certain principles. And I see it day in and day out, even at my own church, even on God's holy day kids just with their face stuck in a phone. Friends, if you desire to go out to the country, be a little bit more self-sufficient, you have that mindset, you've got to teach that to your kids. I try to bring my girls with me on every project that I'm working on and show them how to do it. I don't care if they're goofing around in the background. As long as they're there and they're asking questions or they're kind of paying attention to what you're doing depending on their age it's very important for them to be with you and they won't learn by osmosis but they'll start asking questions or you can start saying hey have you seen this before watch daddy do this or watch mommy do this let them absorb the skills that you have started to build within yourself or you might be even uh, an expert in let them start to absorb that and learn Whether something really bad happens tomorrow or the next day or next week will come in so handy. They are so valuable to your children and even your other family members if they want to listen. But this is kind of really about your kids. Take them out on your homestead every single day. Don't let them sit in the house in front of a computer, even if it's doing their uh, homeschool classes, which ours do on the computer. They need to get outside. They need to observe what you're doing and they need to understand why you are doing it, why you're doing it the way you're doing it, how you learn that. There's a myriad of reasons why that's important, not only to build your kids up, build their knowledge up if something happens where they can grow food for themselves or raise chickens for themselves or change the brakes on their car or even change a tire. It's as simple as that, just changing a tire on your vehicle. But here is another perspective. What if something happens to you and you can't do it? What if you fall off a ladder? What if you chop your finger off? And I'm not joking about this. A lady at church, her and her husband are in their late 60s, early 70s in their country living. She cut her finger off recently with a garden tool and they could not reattach it. Have you raised and trained your children on how to do these things? Are you close with them? Which I really hope all of you are. I know that doesn't happen in every family and I'm sorry about that. But when your children are young, start really trying to give them the breadth of skills that you need to be able to survive, honestly. Maybe it's canning or whatever it might be. I don't care what it is, but it should be a life skill related, even cooking. A lot of kids can't even cook nowadays. You know, I see these videos of these schools in China and those kids are being trained in public school to sew, to cook, to do plumbing. And these kids are like five or six years old on these videos, at least. And they are doing, you know, climbing rope, getting physical education. There's none of the garbage that they're teaching here in our schools. In the videos at least that I see in those schools over there. We used to do that in our schools. We did that when I was young, climbing ropes. I had home ec class. I had a bunch of stuff that, you know, shop class, working with metal, working with wood, working with uh, cars, all of it. And it's all almost gone now. So since it's gone, friends, you need to pick up the slack. You need to start teaching them about life skills that are out here, especially, especially if you want to move out and you're not out yet and you're obtaining skills, involve your children with you. Don't sugarcoat anything. Don't hold anything back. And friends, I don't want you to hold back 
with them on an emotional or mental level either. Warn them. Tell them about the things that are going on in the world. Tell them that there are some real difficult challenges. Tell them that there are scary things, but it's going to be okay. And tell them how to weather the storms that are certainly coming. Now, a lot of people have parents, grandparents, great-grandparents who may have lived through the Great Depression. My great-grandmother was born in 1896, obviously lived through that, and I knew her. She was 90 when she passed away, and my grandmother was only about six years old when the Great Depression happened, so she really couldn't tell me that much about it, although she was way more frugal than my parents or me or my kids, but she didn't have the skills that a lot of people have from that era because she worked in the car industry in Detroit and she uh, just didn't need to. Uh, Detroit was booming at the time and everything was fine until about the 70s. She didn't develop all of those skills that are imperative in very difficult times. Somehow, my father developed those skills, I think, on his own. Now, my grandparents on that side of the family, my grandfather was an electrician, my grandmother was a stay-at-home mom, but they didn't really do much else. My grandfather did garden in his backyard just a little bit. And my dad, I don't know where he read it, how it got into him, but he moved uh, my family out into the country when I was 10 years old and he hunted and he uh, did his own plumbing and he built things and he made furniture and he gardened a ton and he preserved food and we raised chickens and all of this stuff. We had an orchard. He developed all these skills on his own because he knew something wasn't right and in the event that something is not right in the world he wanted to be prepared we did a lot of camping and him and i did a lot of hunting together so i'm really blessed that he passed those skills down and on to me even if i was reluctant to sit down and listen to him about how to do something i was always required to be there and i did observe all of these things he was doing so I did learn them, but there were some skills that I really did want to learn. Like I enjoyed hunting with him. So I learned to gut a deer, skin a deer, quarter a deer, cut it up into, you know, we butchered our own. So uh, cut it up into steaks and stew meat and whatever it was. Many of you have seen this video on my channel, which is the trash can root cellar. We had those. I learned that from him. We had those in Michigan. Every other thing that I'm learning right now that he didn't do, I'm reading books. I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm talking with people who have uh, done it themselves and can show me, and I bring my kids along with me. To impart these skills on your children is more valuable than you will ever know. And friends, there's a million ways to do every job. Teach them one, teach them two, give them skills to be able to do it on their own. And that's another thing. You need to give them confidence that they can do these things. Because if they're not confident in doing something, they may fail at it, which is fine. They'll learn from failure, hopefully. But they can just jump in and get it done when it matters most. Friends, I'm going to repeat myself. What if you fall off a ladder? What if you get sick and you're in bed for a week and all the animals need to get fill, uh, fed and watered and all of this stuff? Can your children do it? And I'm sure if you're living already out on a country homestead and your kids are with you there, then they're not in the school system. They know what to do anyway. But friends, if you're just starting out or you're still in the city or suburbia and you're learning these skills or trying to via watching something uh, or, you know, just gardening on the deck or patio or porch of your, your apartment building and you've got kids, Bring them out there with you on that patio or deck or porch. Show them how to plant the seeds. Show them how deep to plant them, where to put them in the sun, how often to water them. Every thing, every single skill you teach them is going to be valuable. Now, I always transition to the second half of the video for my Christian friends. If you're not a Christian, I still love you. God loves you. You don't have to keep watching from here on out, but I'm going to talk about Christ. 
because Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, I love him and I want to tell other people about him. For as many physical skills as you can teach them, teach them that much more about Jesus. Read the Bible with them. Get them to study with you. Tell them and explain to them who Christ was, what his love is about. That knowledge is far more important than changing a headlight bulb on a certain car. That goes to the saving of their soul and nothing is more important than that. Friends, if you're still letting them sit on the tablet, sit on their phone, sit on those things all day long, sit down on them in church in the pews, which blows my mind, please reach out to them, hug them close to you in church. Don't let them sit with their friends because that's all they do is talk and play on the phone. Hug them close to you. Whisper in their ear about what the pastor's talking about. Open the Bible with them there in church. Because friends, if you lose your children, it's so heartbreaking and you don't want that to happen. And if your children don't have the skills that they need to go out on their own and thrive and flourish and survive, potentially in nasty times that are coming up, that's, that's so heartbreaking if they can't. Teach them every single day. Sit down with them every single day. Friends, I've been accused of repeating myself in videos, but the things that I repeat are incredibly important. I really want to drive home certain points, okay? And that's why I do it. And for the occasional ridiculous comment below that says, stop repeating yourself, or you know, you sound like a broken record, or stop explaining it like a woman. I've got that the other day. That's completely ridiculous. These points are so important and I have love for everybody out there that I really feel that they need to be driven home, like I said, and I'm repeating myself again. All right, I'll stop. Have a beautiful blessed day. Now go check out this video right here, which is how we built this greenhouse by ourselves and our kids watched and learned how to do it. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.